Hey there, how are you doing? Team Nokia Power User here and we welcome you all to the hands-on review of the Build 14965. Windows 10 Mobile Build 14965 is the latest in Redstone 2 or Creators Update build which has been pushed to Windows Insiders in Fastring. The build does not bring any uh, worth mentioning or any significant feature or new ch I mean changes but it does bring lots of fixes and improvements. So in this uh, video, we will not <clears throat> only uh, do a hands-on walkthrough, we will also share our impressions of the build. We will also share how the installation experience was with the build. So to begin with, let's talk about the installation experience. The installation experience has been relatively better uh, with build 14965 as compared to uh, two or three previous builds. So those like previous build had many issues and in many, I mean, there were like uh, times when people were not able to install the builds and they needed to do some kind of uh, workarounds. But this build was uh, installed smoothly. And in case you had uh, the build before this installed on your devices, it was cakewalk, frankly speaking. So uh, it, it took around 35 to 40 minutes for us to get installed, data restored, and everything uh, back running fine. So. Uh, with that we can say that i mean the installation experience has been good for this build now coming to how the build behaves so we will take you through uh, our hands-on of the build so if we see that uh, few things have i mean see that if you check the build if you do a scroll check or like if you do a ui navigation check and you check the scrolling of the app list then you will quickly notice that the issue where uh, the scrolling was like when you, when you try to scroll here it used to be kind of you know had there was some kind of inconsistency so if you scroll it fast then you will see that the apps the, the all the apps were like they seem to disappear so now microsoft has fixed this so now the scrolling is back to how it used to be really fast and smooth. Even the start screen again, as I said, Microsoft has uh, done some improvements here. So the scrolling in both the app list and uh, the start screen is now back to how it used to be. So what we mean is it, uh, it's good and smooth. So we, you can easily notice this improvement. Now if we go to the settings and check, we can see that uh, it is as good as I mean it, as it used to be. So the setting navigation remains good, quite smooth. We can quickly check how the browser works. And then we will go to the multitasking part. So we can tell you that uh, while doing browsing, if you do heavy browsing, there are no issues such as tabs crashing or uh, I mean browser getting stuck or browser crashing. So it, it, it is quite good actually even on build 14965. We have not seen any such kind of erratic or uh, I mean buggy behavior of the browser. The browser has been behaving uh, quite well. It is fast panning zooming etc works fine. And as we said even if you open many tabs it does not break sweat
let's send send it to the background and we will quickly go to check how the multitasking works or behaves so let's open uh, more apps we can open the camera So we already have eight cards open we can quickly go for some games we can open some games to just check okay. so there we go with rail rush Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Let's send it to the background. We will quickly open one more game and especially a game which is optimized for this so we will open the subway surface let us send it to the background so now we can uh, quickly check how the uh, games resume or how the apps resume so let's go for rail rush and since it's not optimized for windows 10 it will take some time but it has resumed quite well so it's good let's see how subway surfer and it resumes instantly again we can quickly check how the apps we have so here we go with the browser the resume it resumes well but then it reloads the site but uh, in case of the other site it has uh, resumed quite well actually so good mm, let's just check how the store resumes and how the, let's check uh, the camera and it resumes really fast check the store and the store has also resumed fast so you can see the multitasking is good we have again not seen any cards crashing and uh, even like uh, the games are resuming fast you don't see any uh, other kind of uh, this kind of issues like the card crashing or games disappearing so this is quite good one more thing that we noticed is that uh, if you i mean earlier it was possible to you know uh, just uh, drop and close this uh, start menu card itself so which we we had assumed maybe a new feature or maybe a bug so it seems like it was a bug because now you cannot uh, uh, you know just kill this card or drop this card anymore on the build 14965 so it seems microsoft has at least fixed two issues which we could notice so now you cannot uh, uh, close this card the start menu card or you cannot drop it and the second very noticeable is that the scrolling in the app list and the scrolling in the start screen has been fixed so what is bad in this build is uh, again the bluetooth remains the same we did not see any improvement in the bluetooth 
दो इफ़ी टॉक अबाउट इट्स कनेक्टिंग टू अदर डिवाइसेस इट में वर्क फाइन आई मीन जनरली इट 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 समाइम्स एंड स्पेशली द विद द डिवाइस इज रनिंग विंडोज टेन मोबाइल देन द कनेक्टिविटी हैपन्स फाइन बट इफ यू ट्राई टू कनेक्ट इट टू एनी एंड्रॉयड डिवाइस और एनी विंडोज फोन एट पॉइंट वन डिवाइस देन इट इट फेसेज लॉट्स ऑफ इशूज एक्चुअली एंड यू यू कैन एक्चुअली सी रैंडम क्रैशेज ऑल्सो और रैंडम डिसकनेक्शन ऑल्सो सो आई थिंक the bluetooth stack needs uh, still needs improvements apart from that we have not i mean kind of encountered many issues with this build frankly speaking yes if you talk about sharing the sharing sometimes uh, gives you some issues if you try to share from the gallery itself but uh, apart from that we did not see any very serious issue with the build the things like the notifications the mail messaging etc they are all working fine with the updates if we find anything we'll tell you coming to the battery life the battery life has been good actually if you compare to the last three uh, builds at least the battery life is much improved in our uh, kind of what we have uh, realized is it's much better so these stats may not hold uh, correct or hold uh, true but uh, frankly speaking we can tell you that there have been at least 30% improvement over the last builds to this build in terms of battery life so you can also when I mean, if you are running the build you can at least share your experience so this is uh, how uh, we found the build 149965 running so i mean we can again tell you that this is our experience your experience may uh, differ so we welcome your comments on the video and uh, when you go and read the article on okay producer you can uh, leave your comments and tell us how the build is behaving for you so with that we come to end of this video thanks for watching stay tuned for more